Hey there, thanks for joining me. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Monday, September 19th. Today's topic is why am I so sensitive on a Cancer moon? And uh, the moon is, of course, in Cancer today. Cancer is a water sign. Water signs have to do with how we feel. They uh, they address the part of uh, of life that has to do with energy and how energy moves and flows. It's not tangible, right? So things that we feel, uh, things that we that we're uh, emotionally experiencing, or the ways that we're feeling uh, things. Uh, from other people or intuitively, um, that that's water energy. It, and it, it's hard sometimes to talk about in our culture because our culture doesn't have a lot of language for water energy. It becomes this thing that's sort of mysterious or, um, you know, woo woo, <laughs> but it's actually energy is very real. And the way we feel inside, you know, uh, is very real. So it's not just um, always like something is logical and something logical and tangible happens and then you have a predictable uh, uh, feeling or, you know, it's not always logical and predictable is what I'm trying to say. The, the feelings that you have, the ways that emotions hit you or, um, or something might come out of the blue is... Uh, is an internal experience. And uh, you might be able to share that experience with someone else who's tuned in or uh, caring or present or also, you know, having some sensitivity. Uh, but when you're around people who aren't, sometimes the emotions can be very inconvenient um, or embarrassing even. Uh, so when the moon is in Cancer, we're tuned in. It's a it's a water sign that has to do with uh, our our feelings, our needs, our and it is very sensitive. Um, we can really feel things more when uh, the moon is in any water sign, but when it's in Cancer, it has to do with our vulnerability. It has to do with uh, the the whatever feelings we're having. Um, Remember, though, that feelings uh, go with healing and um, the, the healing that happens when we are present to ourselves and our needs and our emotions uh, is profound. And it's a huge part of healing and the healing process, all healing process, you know, of course we have, uh, sometimes you need stitches or, you know, cast for a broken bone or you need surgery or, you know, you need those physical, logical, science-based things, but other times and other parts of the healing process have to do with, uh, you know, whether we're listened to, whether somebody cares, whether we feel loved, whether we have time and space to feel and process our emotions. So on a cancer moon, those things become important. The It's like the universe reminding us that you need to take time to feel and that that is part of how you heal. Feeling and healing are go hand in hand. And uh, if you, um, you know, experience something that isn't supportive of your feeling and healing, it can, uh, it can hurt. It can, it, you're, you have that vulnerability. And that's why cancer is connected to the crab because crabs are soft on the inside and mushy and vulnerable, but they have that really hard shell and they have claws. And so uh, the energy of cancer uh, in the zodiac is saying, you know, I've got my hard shell and I got my claws and uh, I will push you away if you're not being understanding and caring and supportive of my feelings and my needs. And so uh, when those things are operating in a healthy way, 
We can have healthy boundaries to say, you are not being supportive of my feeling and my healing. And so I will not let you pass this boundary. Or, or you can say, I'm going to push you away before you even get a chance to get close. And that's what we do sometimes when we don't let people in, when we're being so protective of ourselves that we don't allow ourselves to experience love and support because we have that automatic uh, reaction to push people away. So notice your sensitivity Notice what you need. It's just asking you to pay attention to who you are and what you need and to take care of that. You know, do you need some some time to feel safe? Do you need something that makes you feel loved? Um, do you need caring, kindness? Can you ask for what you need? Can you say, you know, I don't know what I need right now, but I need some space to figure it out maybe? So being able to articulate your needs, and before you can do that, of course, you have to be aware, aware for yourself of what they are. So take that time to learn more about yourself and your needs and what you need to get those met and how to allow people you love and care about to do that for you. So um, you also might notice, of course, people around you being more sensitive and having their claws out or being a little more irritable or um, touchy. So be aware of that when the moon is in cancer and be patient with others because they're just having needs that they don't know how to articulate or they don't feel safe in um, being real and authentic in their vulnerability. So take good care of yourself with the moon in cancer. And thank you so much for being here and watching and all your support. I thank you for subscribing and uh, your likes on my videos and your comments. And I will be here next time. So um, let me know what you want to hear more about. All right. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.